Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about PF ratio or PAO to FAO to ratio. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Now, what is PAO2? It is the partial pressure of oxygen and it is measured from arterial blood. The normal level of PAO2 ranges between 80 to 100 mm Hg. And FiO2? FiO2 is the fraction of inspired oxygen, is the percentage or concentration of oxygen that a person inhales. FiO2 ranges between 0.21 to 1, that is 21% to 100%. FiO2 of normal room air is 0.21, that is 21%. If patient needs oxygen support either from high flow or low flow oxygen system, then it ranges from 24 to 100%. PF ratio is otherwise known as Horowitz index or Carrico index. What do we mean by PF ratio? PF ratio is a comparison between the oxygen level in the blood and the oxygen concentration that is breathed. The PF ratio is otherwise a measure of intrapulmonary shunting and is obtained by comparing arterial to inspired oxygen. Now, how do we calculate PF ratio? The value of PF ratio is calculated by dividing the arterial oxygen tension that is PaO2 by the fraction of inspired oxygen that is FiO2. Now, let's do it with an example so that you can have a clear idea. Patient has partial pressure of oxygen 80 mmHg and fraction of inspired oxygen 40 percentage now as we discussed before pf ratio equal to pao2 divided by fio2 that is equal to 80 divided by 0 0.40 do not forget the decimal in the fio2 when doing the calculation and therefore we get the answer 200 mm hg this can also be done in another way that is PF ratio equal to PaO2 divided by FiO2 multiplied by 100. Hence, 80 divided by 40 multiplied by 100 gives 200 mmHg. What are the uses of PF ratio? Oxygenation status is easily evaluated by calculating PF ratio and moreover, PF ratio is a good indicator of how much oxygen patient is breathing that is FiO2 and how much is moving into circulation that is PaO2. It also helps to assess the severity of hypoxemia. According to Berlin definition of ERDS, it is classified into mild, moderate and severe based on the PF ratio. If the PF ratio is between 200 to 300 mmHg, it is mild ARDS. If it is between 100 to 200 mmHg, it indicates moderate ARDS. And if the PF ratio is below 100 mmHg, it indicates severe ARDS. With a positive end expiratory pressure or PEEP of more than 5 cm of water. When we look into the normal PF ratio, it is more than or equivalent to 400 and is equivalent to a partial pressure of oxygen greater than or equal to 80 mm Hg. Now, here comes few examples for your practice. Patient has partial pressure of oxygen 78 mm Hg and FiO2 40%. Second one is, patient has Partial pressure of oxygen 90 mm Hg and FiO2 is 50%. You can practice it and mention the answers on the comment box. In critical care units, PF ratio is documented in many ways. For example, in case of prone position ventilation, it is measured and documented frequently. It is also one of the criteria 
in weaning the patient from ventilator so nurses should be aware of this pf ratio and how to calculate this now here comes a ready made table of pf ratio calculated using pao2 and fio2 values and this can be used as pocket reference for nurses so this is all about pf ratio and how we calculate this if you find this video useful please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications thanks for watching and have a nice day